WSTKS FM Worldwide, podcasts for digital collaborative learning in the 21st century. Well, hello, hello, everyone. This is Professor Schwartz. Welcome to the start of yet another semester. Welcome to your IAH course for this particular semester. I thought that I would kick things off for us by talking a little bit about the kinds of work that you can expect to be doing during the next 15 weeks. First of all, let me add that uh, this course is designed as a collaborative peer learning experience, which means that starting from the end of week two, you will be working for the rest of the semester as part of a small student learning team consisting of four or five, or perhaps, depending on class size, six students to dissect, examine, analyze, and think about the primary course materials each week. Depending on the course, these materials can be things like books or plays, sometimes a little bit of poetry or films. Now, as far as the the work that you will be responsible for producing as part of your student learning team, first of all, let me talk about the collaborative projects. There are three due during weeks five, week 10, and week 14. The first collaborative project involves your student learning team working together to review and evaluate two recent journal articles less than 10 years old on material presented during the first third of the course. This project will also include a works cited or bibliography page, plus a collaboratively written guided reflection on your team work habits and related choices. Your review and evaluation of these two articles can take a couple of different forms, actually three. You can present your work in the form of a television newscast made using the WeVideo app, which you can find online. Likewise, you could present your findings in the form of a television talk show. Again, you can make this using the WeVideo app. Lastly, you could present your findings in the form of a podcast, um, which you can produce using free online applications like Anchor FM, uh, Riverside FM, or Audacity, which I use myself to produce podcasts like the one that you are listening to today. Your second collaborative project will be a reader's guide in which your student learning team examines and evaluates two books, two recent journal articles, and two digital sources that have to do in some way with the intersection between course material on the one hand and systems of power, oppression, equity, and justice on the other. Like the first team project, um, this, this reader's guide project should also include a works cited or bibliography page and the usual collaboratively written team reflection on your work habits and related choices. Your reader's guide can take a couple of different forms. You can either produce a digital flipbook, which you can put together using the FlipSnack app, or you could present your findings as a an infographic which you can put together using the Canva app found online. Your third collaborative project, which will be due at the end of week 14, can take the form of either an academic poster or a digital scrapbook. Either one of these should be interactive with hyperlinks, um, as well as uh, easy navigation between various sections or pages. Here, in this project, your student learning team will revisit five or six novels, plays, or films presented during the 15-week semester. You will look at these sources in terms of power, oppression, equity, and social justice. And, most importantly, you will brainstorm practical solutions to how we might address similar long-standing social ills in the real world of the 21st century. 
As usual, this project should also include a works cited or bibliography page and a collaboratively written reflection reflecting, looking at your team habits and work choices. Besides those three collaborative projects, each student in the course will also be responsible for a couple of other things. Um, the first is a series of 10 individual written reflections worth two points each. These are low-risk assignments. Uh, and these start in week two, where students will be asked to develop guided reflections on their independent uh, and later collaborative coursework for a given week. Not only will you articulate your new learning in these reflections, but you will also connect uh, your new knowledge to prior knowledge, as well as examine your own work habits and related choices. Like with the collaborative projects, uh, you have the choice of how you present your learning with this, these individual reflections. First, you can write a traditional two to three page double spaced essay. Or possibly you could record a five to six minute uh, voice file or even video. I've had a few students do that in the past. Or you can create what is called a sketch note. This is a hybrid of note taking and creative doodles that presents your grasp of new information gleaned from your scholarly reading and discussion and the connection of those ideas to specific novels, plays, or films uh, in the course. Like with the collaborative projects, you can find more information about how to do this by looking at the individual course modules in our D2L pages. Lastly, there is the capstone project, which each student will co complete during week 15 and turn in at the very end of the semester before finals week. This final capstone project, the semester reflection, the individual semester reflection, involves students developing a guided reflection in which they revisit and evaluate their learning for the entire 15-week semester. Students have the choice of presenting their reflection in two forms. They can either write a traditional five to six page self-assessment essay or they can create a five to six minute self-assessment video, in either case using a set of guided questions to help them structure and move through their individual semester reflection. As I've mentioned already, you can learn a great deal more about the individual weekly reflections, the capstone individual semester reflection, and your three student learning team collaborative assignments by referring either to the weekly course modules already set up on D2L or in the case of the three collaborative and the final individual capstone project by looking at the project packets created for these assignments which contain prompts, grading rubrics, and other information these are already up on our D2L course pages as well, which you can find by going to the course content page and clicking on the various tabs that you will find down the left-hand side of the D2L screen there. All right, everyone, I will bring this initial podcast to a close since it's getting a little bit longer than uh, I would like. I will see you in class or online or during online office hours as we work together during the next 15 weeks. Thank you, and I hope you're as excited about it as I am. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. You've been listening to a podcast by WSTKS FM Worldwide, podcasts for digital collaborative learning in the 21st century.